What's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Crayon Lipsticks. So these are the ink crayon version of the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. I've been watching a couple of reviews from YouTubers in the Philippines about these lipsticks just to see what the difference is compared to like the products that I purchased here in the United States and the products that you can purchase in Asia. So if you want to know what I think about this lipsticks, then just keep on watching. So one of the differences is of course the price. In the Philippines, one lipstick retails for 299 pesos or $6 converted. But here in the US, I bought my lipsticks for $9.99 at Ulta. At Target, I know some shades are $7.99 and then some shades are like around six dollars and I think seventy nine cents, something around those lines. So plus tax, of course, because in the Philippines it's tax inclusive. The two hundred ninety nine pesos is already tax inclusive, but here in the U S, nine ninety nine plus tax or. $6.99 plus tax, so it ranks up to around like 500 pesos, 400 to 500 pesos per lipstick. So it is a little bit more expensive. Another thing that I've noticed is the shade range. Here in the US, I was able to purchase 12 different shades. In the Philippines, I think I've watched one video which said that they had nine shades and the, the other video had 10 shades so i'm not sure which one is like more accurate so probably the 10. in asia like the shades are actually just numbers and i know there are japanese characters on them so maybe those are like the words but here the shade range is in english lighting is kind of changing because i'm filming using um not natural sunlight because i really wanted to show like how the lipsticks look in you know natural light but anyway so apologize for like the different lighting conditions but anyway like i said i love the way that they named the shades of the lipsticks it's more uplifting and encouraging inspirational words as opposed to like what we have right now which is a lot of like profanity in the lipsticks you know there's a lot of mm. it reminds me so much of the l'oreal rouge signature lipsticks some of the shades are named like laugh louder own your empire hustle in heels lead the way so it's really encouraging which is really good that that way, when somebody asks me, what shade are you wearing, I can explicitly say it because I'm not ashamed because it's not some like profanity. These lipsticks are perfect because I myself am starting to gravitate toward like bullet type lipsticks, more of like the crayon types compared to like liquid lipsticks just because it's easier to put on when I'm out and about. The packaging is also perfect because it's so sleek. It's just in a matte packaging and then here is how much product you get. So when you buy it, the tip is kind of pointed so you can, you can use it as a lip liner or to fill in your lips as well. So it's really dual purpose. And then you have about two inches of product in there. And one thing I love about it is the fact that it didn't easily break or it didn't break the like retractable thing. If ever like the tip is too rounded for you to use as a lip, as a lip liner, you can always go on the other side, pull it out, and there's actually a sharpener on the other end so that you can make the tip pointy so you can line your lips properly and make it more precise. With the longevity of this lipsticks, it's more of a lipstick formula so it's not transfer proof. If you drink water, if you eat, it's gonna wear off but it leaves like a nice tint to your lips so it's not completely bare but of course you do have to re reapply it or else it will look patchy when it comes to like the deeper shades. Pigmentation is on point as well as you can see I'm wearing the shade Accept Adair which is a little bit darker which surprisingly looks good on me. I, I mean I kind of like it. A lot of the reds in this collection goes well with my skin tone. I am a MAC NC40 so I'm more of a medium to um, tan skin. Wearing all the those reds actually made my teeth look whiter, made my complexion brighter, so it's really flattering in my opinion. Like I said, longevity, if you want something that doesn't transfer or anything like that, go for the matte ink liquid lipstick because you are not gonna get that with this. If you're looking for something that's really easy to throw on, this is what I recommend for you. So the scent of these lipsticks, it's really similar to the matte ink liquid lipsticks. It's kind of like that vanilla scent, but other than that, nothing too special. All I can say is they're super easy to use and I love the shade range. I can definitely see where myself wearing almost all of it except for like the hot pink one because I don't really tend to go for that. But nonetheless, it still looked good on me. So if you want to see all the swatches of these lipsticks, then just keep on watching.
available in Lazada and here in the US it's available in all the major retailers out there so I'll be putting all the links to purchase down in the description bar and of course if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already once again it's Eunice I'll see you guys next time bye